In cells, some biomolecules come together and separate into droplets called biomolecular condensates. This is a cell of a small worm called C. elegans. The bright spots are a type of biomolecular condensate made of proteins and RNA. These condensates are essential for the worm to reproduce. Condensates are dynamic and respond to environmental changes. Recent work showed that changing the temperature periodically makes condensates in this cell form and dissolve. How does that work? The physics of mixing helps to understand and predict this behavior. A powerful tool to study mixing processes is a phase diagram. These diagrams are generally used all across physics, from magnets and superconductors to pure substances like water. Each system has its unique phase diagram which shows regions that correspond to different states of the system, such as the solid, liquid and gas state of water. In cells there is a myriad of biomolecules like proteins, DNA and lipids, so an accurate phase diagram that takes every component into account would be very complicated. To simplify the problem, let's think of a mixture of only two components. This is how its phase diagram looks like. The horizontal axis represents the average concentration of one component. The vertical represents an external parameter, such as the temperature that controls the state of the system. This curve is called a binodal and shows the separation between the two possible states of the system, mixed and demixed. Now let's imagine that we have a homogeneous mixture at this certain temperature and concentration. If we lower the temperature, keeping the concentration fixed, we reach the binodal. Below this line, the mixed state is no longer stable. So as we keep cooling the system down and cross the binodal, small droplets will form. This phenomenon is an example of phase separation. With time, the small droplets will grow until the system reaches equilibrium. At equilibrium, the system will be the mix into two phases with concentrations given by the binodal at this temperature. If we now raise the temperature such that the system crosses the binodal again, the phase diagram predicts that the droplets will dissolve, returning the system to a mixed state. Despite the simplicity of this two-component model, it can explain the dynamical behavior of condensates. Other behaviors may require a more precise description of the cell, which makes the phase diagram much more complex. Scientists at the interface between physics and biology combine their skills to study the nature of condensate in cells. This can shed light on how they may promote biological functions of the cell. Watch other science catches to learn more.